Here we have a Kenwood TS 480 HX, the high power version with dual PAs. And we've just installed the AC mod standalone unit in it. And uh, we've installed it via the HDMI connector in the front. This right here is a dummy connector, which bypasses all the circuitry needed to have the radio operational as it is from factory. Once the AC mod is to be enabled, you just simply take the dummy HDMI connector out and plug in your HDMI connector from your external control unit and connect it and you're on the air with the AC mod. At this point, you can disconnect your hand mic and run your audio from your line in uh, out of your processing chain. So there you have it. The AC mod together with the Kenwood TS480 HX. And we could easily remove the AC mod unit and revert the Kenwood back to its factory state simply by removing the HDMI cable and revert the radio back to factory specs by plugging in this dummy HDMI connector. The AC mod standalone unit has its own PTT connector in the back so you can use your external mouse or external PTT switch or foot pedal. And here uh, we're gonna go ahead and key up. And we're gonna look at the meter. Right there we have the carrier all the way down we can bring up the carrier to whatever level we want here on the carrier control right there is set to a max of 20 watts of carrier that can be altered by coming here and changing your power on your unit Let's put it up to 15 there. You can see now we could reach up to 50 watts of dead key. Now this radio does 200 watts easily, so a 50 watt dead key is exactly what we need for a 200 watt um, modulation envelope, which will put us at 100% modulation. Now we don't want to do that. We want to write this radio within the head, uh, headroom limits, so typically anywhere 1 to 10 watts is a safe zone. So we could leave it there at 10 watts. That's a 50 watt slug on this side. That's a 250 watt slug at that side. That's your peak indicator right there. When we have modulation, it comes on. As you can see back there in the meter. And um, fully out of switching. If we change mode to sideband, we have the sideband indicator come on, as well as our TX indicator. So there you have it. The AC mod standalone with the Kenwood TS 480 HX.